guys! So, finally, I'm back with another video. You guys might have some questions as to why I haven't uploaded in a long time. I think this video might answer some of those questions you might or might not have. So, as you can tell by the title, it is a story time about how I moved schools and then moved back again, which you might be like really confused, like why, what, what she, why she do that for? But I think as the video goes on, you'll understand what happened and why I did that. Yeah, I just want to get right into this video because I am going to be doing a lot of talking. I just want to say one more thing. I'm really sorry to any of my new viewers or my new subscribers because this video might get a bit emotional, but this is not what my channel is. And this video might not be interesting, but I just really wanted to get out there, like, what happened to me and stuff. It's not like something like huge, drastic, like, whoa, change my life forever. No, it's just... Something that I wanted to share with some people who might understand, might be like, really like, why she do that for? So, and I just thought that YouTube would be the best like, medium, the best way to get it out there. So yeah, I'm really sorry because this video and the last video on my new New Year's resolution, um, was like, comes across as like, really emotional and stuff, but this is not what my channel is supposed to be. Fun beauty videos, fun videos and stuff, and DIYs, but I just haven't been able to do that. Yeah. Okay. I think that's everything, so I'm just gonna get on with the video. Okay, so this is a story about how I moved from one school to the other, and then moved back to my original school. Let's go! So when you get to year 7 in the UK, you go to secondary school and I chose the secondary school that my sister went to like it was the secondary school I'd always wanted to go to it didn't matter to me that it was an all girls school I'm gonna call this school the blue school and then when I get to the other school I'm gonna call it the red school just because I don't want to give out names and stuff, you know So for year 7 and year 8 I was in blue school and I was immensely happy there with my friends, with the teachers with just like the whole aura of the school and the atmosphere it was just, it was great and I loved being there. But my mum, at the end of year seven, thought my grades weren't good enough, like my levels I got. I got my target levels and stuff, but she just wanted them to be above average, you know, she wanted like me to excel. So she gave me the whole of year eight, another year, to improve them, and I felt like I did. But I, she still wanted to move me, like, I just wanna say like, I never wanted to move. Blue school being an all girls school, my mum just wanted me to go to a mixed school, and the one she had like, her I set on was Red School. My mum moved me, we went to the, like the principal of the Red School, you know, all the school moving stuff that you gotta do when you move schools. We did that, I got your uniform and stuff, I said bye to all my friends. If you go if you scroll down my Instagram feed, you'll see like a picture of each of them with me and like a whole paragraph that I posted because it was my, it was, yeah, my last day, my last week and stuff there. And that was like July 2015. It is now July 2016 or August, I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this. So I moved. And in September 2015, I started Red School. It was, it was nice. It was a mixed school. I never saw Blue School as like, oh, it's just an all girls school. Oh, only girls, whoa. No, like that never mattered to me. So it was kind of weird being around all these boys and stuff, but I got used to it really quickly. I mean, I've had, I have like, lit, lit, literally all my cousins are boys. I got used to it quite quickly. I did have friends already, one of my best friends, best friend already already went there and like he helped me settle in and stuff and I made I made some really good friends I made my best friend on the first day there even though I thought her name was Emily it wasn't it was Lily and that was great so I did meet some great people there okay so I have most of this written down on my phone and I'm just gonna read it out so everything was cool in September the school was further away than blue school was. So I had to catch the school bus. I caught that bus in the morning, so it would pick me up, take me to school, and then drop me home afterwards. And on the bus, there were these boys, four or five of them, and I'm just gonna call them the boys on the bus, as I always have, and I always will. And they were okay. They were like, kind of friendly. You know how boys will be boys, banter and stuff. They, they were fine, I mean, I got used to that. And then this lasted, they were like, nice. Everyone else I was chill with, they were just like, the ones that sometimes took it a bit far, but I, t I could take it. And then, middle-ish of November, they got worse. They started being more offensive and stuff. They found out I had a YouTube channel, and they would make fun of that. And obviously, because YouTube is something that I love doing, and they were making fun of it, just really made me feel like absolute shit. And I knew my videos weren't the best, but they weren't the 
worst either and they just kept making fun of it. And that um that might be one of the questions why you're not uploading as frequently because because I I didn't I didn't want to post videos and they could make fun of me while I was still there. So I haven't but I but now I'm slowly getting back to the like frequently uploading not frequently, I mean like actually uploading a video once in a while but I learned to embrace it They'd just like you know laugh along with them because I thought it'd be better for me to show them that what they said didn't bother me that was all good and then for Christmas I went to India and I missed a couple of days of school um, something happened with my friendship group because there were eight of us and then we split so four and four um, it was Lily and two other girls in like one half of the group and the other group of four girls, which I'm not gonna name names, I just, I don't wanna like call some people out. But I went in Lily's group because Lily was my first friend I made there, like not through the best friend I already had. And I, I was, no one had told me why this group had split up or like what had happened. So I just, I just went with it. You know, I was confused, but it was just like, okay, I'll just, I'll just hang out with Lil, with Lily. So I guess cause I went to like Lily's group this one individual in the other group, um, I'm saying group a lot, really just started being rude and just arrogant towards me, like, you don't even know the stuff I went through, I, I hid it really well, only a couple of my friends knew. I did try to fix things with other girls in that group, I tried but it didn't really work out, so I was like, okay fine, leave it, I, d I, do, have, I do have the friends I really need, I mean, if they wanted to still be my friend, they would have sorted it out with me. Um, obviously, I was new to the school, they had two years of making friends and stuff, that one individual, I am just gonna call it N, pretty obvious if some of my friends who are watching this, they probably know who I'm talking about now. This girl N knew the boys on the bus better than I did and she would spread rumours about me, she would tell them things that weren't true about me, she would twist my words and just, she just got them on her side for some reason, I don't know why, but she did and then they started being really rude towards me and remember I had to catch the bus with them every morning and after school and they were in at least one lesson I had each day and I I was like already done because this time it wasn't just the boys on the bus it was also their friend like their whole friend group I'm talking with seven or eight boys here being rude to me on a daily basis and it was also N that kept saying stuff <sighs> this happened in like early February and it's ended late March ended because I think N finally thought that I didn't care what she was saying anymore and it was true, I didn't care what she was saying, what she was saying, the boys were still going on. And they found every small little thing about me to make fun of. They would pick on me during the bus rides. Um, they would pick on stuff like how big my lips are, or my hair, because I dyed my hair, or my weight. Um, they would also make up things like how I, they were really racist, let me just say. They would say I would live in a mud hut, you know, because I'm Indian, I can't afford a house, or I lived in a tree, didn't have a house at all. They would say my dad blew up NHS, that we did 9-11, that I, because I got a new phone as well, that my phone was a black market phone, or that I stole it, which is obviously not the case at all. And they would accuse me of liking this boy and that boy. They would spread rumors about me. Um, they would call me a bumlick if I was nice to someone or even one of them. They would call me a try hard for no reason at all. And if I had just told them to like, like stop it guys, you're pissing me off now. You'd be like, oh, don't cry. And claim everything was banter for the bands. Um, and it got to me so much that I didn't even want to come to school. Now I'm really good with dates. So I'm about to spit some dates out at you. Oh no, not dates, dates, like, like 5th of March and stuff like that. Those type of dates. It was the 9th of March and it was a Wednesday and I pretended to feel ill in the morning so I didn't have to go to school. My dad let me stay at home. Obviously he thought I was ill. But I just didn't want to go to school and face them. I had to do that five days a week. And spent, uh, it was so annoying. And it wasn't just me that they would tease. It would be like Lily and some of my other friends as well. Well that evening, the 9th of March, I was on FaceTime with my best friend from Blue School who's been my best friend for ages. Um, Eunice. Um, Eunice is really creative and stuff. She also has a YouTube channel. Um, she loves making videos and stuff. And she had to do this project for my tutor group. Well, my old. Well, one of the, the her tutor group. Like this video about forgiveness and stuff. And it was like because she was in the same tutor as I was, so it was all my friends. And I watched the video because she sent me a link. They were like walking around Blue School. So my camera turned off. I don't know. Um, so Eunice is an Edmund and Edmund is 
the tutor I was in as well for year seven and eight. That video when it was about forgiveness, they were just like walking around. It was like a mini little music video. They were walking around the whole school, um, dancing, singing, having fun and stuff. Um, and I'm really good friends with like mostly everyone in that tutor base and I just saw all of them and I saw the school and me being emotional me I just kind of started crying because that's how emotional I get sometimes. I was on FaceTime with Eunice and I watched the video because she sent me a link and I started crying and my dad, my dad heard me because I was trying to talk to Eunice at the same time and obviously that's not very discreet of me but he was, he was doing something so I just, I was like it's fine dad do your thing, I'll go talk to Vanessa and then I'll talk to you, Vanessa is my sister. I talked to her and I told her what's happened and how I just didn't want to be at Red School anymore because I really wasn't, it just wasn't fun. And then I, and then I talked it out with my parents and my sister. And now it was my mum who moved me, but I'm not saying that this was her fault in any way. Like she never knew this was gonna happen. Just wanna, I just wanna get that clear. She never knew I was gonna get bullied. My mum gave me some really good advice. She said to just brush whatever they say off my shoulder. So I listened to her and I, and I decided not to move then. So by following advice, it, it actually worked. And the boys were nicer to me and they weren't as rude. And I got really, not like fr friendship wise, I got really close to one of them. I explained to him how like what they did affected me. I didn't tell him about the crying and stuff. I told them how I just I couldn't handle it anymore and he made the other boys stop. Like if they had said something on the bus he would tell them to stop. It's not funny. And I really, really appreciate that and I don't know if he's watching this, but he knows who he is. I'm still grateful for that even though he turned into the biggest dick afterwards. Still kind of is. <laughs> still is, yeah. What am I saying? So then that was good. It was all good and then we had a two week Easter holiday break. And that was good. I was, I was still talking to my friends obviously and I was still talking to that boy and he was still being nice to me but then this thing happened involving two new girls the boy P I'm gonna call him P the, the boy who I got really close to P they were lying to him about something Lily did and obviously me being Lily's best friend like I, I wasn't taking that and obviously didn't do, do it I was there with Lily when that thing happened but these girls they were just like N they were more popular than me, they knew the boys longer. So once P started listening to them and started becoming friendly with them, the other boys followed, then they just began to be rude to me again. So at the end of this two week holiday, which was like a month after the day I cried, I asked my parents, I went downstairs, I still have like the recording, I voice memoed it. I was like, do you agree at the end of two weeks, if I'm not happy at red school, can I move back to blue school? They agreed and then me being, stupid little me again at the end of that two weeks i said no it's cool things are going good i don't want to move because the boys were still nice they hadn't got to that really bad stage that i'm about to tell you guys about and then it was may april may yeah it was may the boys were steadily getting like worse they were back to their old ways they were being really rude um just like they were in january when n was influencing whatever they heard about me. Boys are so annoying. Boys will be boys. And but this this was like a step too far. It was Monday the 16th of May. I remember this. Two days before my mom's birthday, only reason why. So we were on the bus home and my bottle, which I don't know if you guys know, like the bubble bottles. Like now this isn't just like a plain plastic bottle. Like we paid a lot of money for this. Not a lot, but like a lot for like a water bottle. Because it was a filter one, it was a reusable one and I've had it since September and it was just really pissed me off. They took it and then they wouldn't give it back. The boy who took it fell out my bag and it rolled behind me. So then one of the boys picked it up and I was like, oh, can you give it back? They were like, no. And then they passed it to the other friend on the other side of the bus. And then he like shoved that un under his chair, but I couldn't get the thing and I get off the bus before they do. So obviously I didn't have a choice but to actually get off. The next morning they sent me a picture of my bottle. It, w it was literally theft and vandalism. They stole my bottle and then they vandalized it and then the next day on the tuesday i was on the bus i was like where's my bottle they were like where we don't have it we're not giving it to you and i was like what you're gonna have to pay for a new one then they were like no we don't and then and then them being the little smart asses they thought they were went on to like amazon and stuff because that's why they were like oh look you just paid one pence for it like i didn't pay for a used bottle thanks no and they obviously thought i couldn't afford a 10 pound bottle so they were being really rude and racist yet again and that lunch i went and i reported them surprise they didn't know they they well 
well, I reported them and the next day one of the teachers who deals with this kind of stuff talked to them, they got detentions and stuff and they had to pay me back, they had to apologise to me and everything. And then they thought it was me that reported them. It was, but the whole time I was telling them that it wasn't. And I'm not there anymore. It's been like a month and a half since I've moved. Don't talk to any of them. Don't care what they have to say now. So here you go, here's the truth. I reported you. Boys, I don't know if they're watching this, someone will probably tell them. I reported you. It wasn't someone in our RE class, it was me, but obviously I got the teachers to say it wasn't me. Because obviously at this point, I think they favoured me a bit more than they did you. When, than they did them, sorry. It's like other people watching them. Um, yeah, so I reported them, they got what they deserved, but because they had thought, they didn't know why I'd report them, but because they had thought that it was me, they got even worse. They were treating me like proper shit and I couldn't take that. I couldn't. And then on the 19th of May, which was a Thursday, I went home. I talked to my mum and I was like, I want to move back to blue school. And I actually want to move back this time. And I knew by saying this, I was leaving all those bullies and these people that, oh, it's so annoying. But I was also leaving my like, best friends. I was leaving Lily and I was leaving Sam and I didn't want to do that but I wasn't happy there. I was getting bullied and I never wanted to call it bullying but that's what it was. It blatantly was bullying. I talked to my mum. My mum talked to Blue School and she called them. She told them that I was a student there before and I wanted to move back and I got to. I did. In the end I did. And she called them and then we were waiting for a reply. Did, then we had like a week and a half till our term break. So like a week off school. And then that in that week and a half they were they were worse than they had been throughout the whole year. And plus there were those two girls that they're not even worth mentioning, like what they did. That's not even worth mentioning. They are so irrelevant right now. I hate them. And obviously them being like up here and I was more like here. They spread there's a sh stuff about me and then on the 26th of may which was the like a week after i told my mom i wanted to move blue school called my mom back they told her oh you can come in tomorrow for a meeting so on the 27th my mom went in she talked to like the people she has to talk to for like me to go back and they accepted me back but that was that was a friday that was the day before we broke up for term <sighs> So on that last day, it was around about like one o'clock, so like lunch. And my mom calls me and she says that they've accepted me back. And I was like with Lily and all my friends. And I was like, really, really? And no one else knew but Lily and two of my other three of, a couple of other people knew that I was thinking of moving back, but like properly this time. And it was really sad. I cried, Lily cried, and I told her that I would be coming back for a week because I couldn't just leave like that. I couldn't leave without saying bye to like, people who were actually my friends there and the bullies getting what they deserved. So after begging, my mom let me stay for one more week and on the 5th of June, which was the Sunday before like we went back to school, I wrote about four pages about everything that's happened, that happened since the start of the year for me. Because on the 6th, I had a meeting with the head teacher and I gave him the pieces of paper and then he passed it along to the person who deal dealt with the bottle thing. And me and that teacher agreed that on the Friday, so my last day on the on the tenth, that we would get all of us together, me, Lily, two other girls like of our friendship group, N, P and all the boys on the bus and all the other boys, we'd get all of them together and explain to them how they were the reason that I was leaving. And obviously since that was the last day that they didn't dare like say anything to me afterwards and they didn't and they still haven't annoyed my friends after I left. And the tenth of June was my last day at Red School. And on the thirteenth, which was the Monday, I was back at blue school and only a couple of my friends from blue school knew that i was actually moving back and i moved back and it was great laura screamed emma poked me and was like are you real i was like yeah i'm real and i'm back julia cried a bit and it was it was great it was and it's so great to be back because in blue school i am free and i don't get judged and to be honest these weird little things like having my hair in a certain way or not even like wearing any like a trace of makeup on my face they wouldn't say anything about that whereas in red school the boys would be like oh what the fuck and like what the fuck's your hair and stuff and my camera stopped again um and i might be out of focus i know i was out of focus in the last one and i'm sorry if i'm out of focus now but i can't really <laughs> Um, as I was saying, little things like having my hair in a certain way or not wearing any makeup, they would just make fun of like, what the fuck is your hair? Like, ew, 
your face. And I wasn't free to do that. But in blue school, it's just so much better for me. And I know these are just little things that I'm talking about, like my hair or my, like, or me wearing makeup. But little things added up make such a huge difference because it was little things all the way from September to like June. All of those little things added up into this huge big mess and I was stressed and I didn't want to go to school and it was so bad for me and I wasn't enjoying it and I'm just really glad to have moved back. And I know it's, I know it's stupid but I, I'm just really happy to be back where I was always supposed to be. And I know I'm just talking about secondary schools but like still and I know and I'm back with amazing people like Eunice and all my friends. But I had to leave some people behind like Lily and Sam but I still meet up with them on like a monthly basis or like two weeks, every two weeks or something. Like Lily, um, last time I saw her was two weeks ago and I'm about to see her in like two days or really have seen her, it depends when this video goes up. I know it's the summer holidays that I hate talking about school right now, but it's just something that I had to get out there to like deal with any confusion. And I don't know if I missed anything out because I don't know when the camera stopped recording, but I think I think that that, that is everything. And I am very happy to be back. Yeah. And I, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying now. That was the story about how I moved schools and I moved back. Probably really boring. Sorry if you've watched all the way to this point. You, no one probably has. I was about to say, if you have, give it a thumbs up. But I don't think that's like the right time to say that right now. I think that is everything. Better be because I see B8 to get the camera out again. Just one more thing. I don't know if this like this point was clear. But um, I stopped making videos because I was afraid of being judged. And I was afraid of what those boys would say or what anyone would say. But really now, I don't give a shit because I don't talk to any of them anymore. And I know that my actual friends are supportive of my YouTube channel. And that's all I could ask for, really. And I'm super glad that I'm sitting in front of the camera again, making videos. And even though this was kind of like a weird sad video, still. So I hope you guys enjoy this video or at least tolerated it. I know it might be long, I already said all of this. So if you enjoyed or at least tolerated this video, please give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment below on what video do you want me to make because I shall be uploading again because it is something I really miss doing. Or if you have any questions, you can like Instagram DM me, Snapchat me. Twitter DM me, like I've, I've got all the social media, all my links are down below if you want to check them out, you know, um, or ask me any more questions. And make sure to subscribe. Bye. <laughs> ah, I have another ages. Okay, bye. <laughs> my phone's been on 1% for like an hour. It's great. <laughs>